All right, we're going to show you guys how to crimp the fittings and why we're doing them. Uh, first, what we'll do is we'll show you here clip locator. You put your clips in the clip locator. Uh, the clip locator is pre-cut for you, so you can install them into the top like that. Just put them both in there. Then what we do is we slide that over the hose. You get your hose in there like that. You see here on this end that the blue clip has stopped there. Now the reason why we're doing this, if you have a look here at the fitting, you see these two bite sections here where the three pre-cut grooves are. What will happen is when you crimp that in and this clip locates it onto here, it'll put it exactly into where the pre-cut grooves are and the hose will bite into the bite section of the fitting. So essentially that hose will seal to the fitting and bite in there six times by 360 degrees, creating a leak proof seal. So what we'll do now is we'll slide the hose onto the fitting. You can use some pag oil like this to lubricate your fitting to make it a bit easier. Put the fitting in, you push it all the way home. Now if you have a look here, you can see there's a gap between the hose and the fitting itself. That gap will be like that the whole entire time. So now we'll crimp the, the crimps, the clips, I should say. So using a pair of uh, ratcheting crimpers, just there, we'll link you guys to them. So we put them on, crimp, that one's done. Go to the next one, crimp again, done. Now we'll remove the blue clip locator, so you'd be removing this on the car as well like this. And you see there's nice uniform crimp, and we can also see though this nice little gap here. So when you guys don't use the blue clip locator, when we see pictures of your install, we can tell whether you use them or not. Like I was saying, it's extremely important that you use them, because if we have a look at those two fittings there now, you see it lines up with those bite sections. So like I was saying, what's happening here is the rubber hose is physically biting into that fitting, and sealing there by 360 degrees six times. Now we'll go ahead and we'll do the next one. And when you're doing this on the car, you don't necessarily need to use the pag oil, uh, but it does make it a bit easier. Uh, but that, that fitting will, will shove in there. Shove this one in without any pag oil, we'll show them how to do it. So lining the clips again, and then just lift it up off the towel. You got your towel in the way. Yeah. Yep. Okay, now put the fitting in. So basically, it should just slide in. Yeah, no problem. So push it all the way home. You've obviously got that gap again. And then make sure that that clip cage is hard up against here, which it obviously is. And then we'll crimp that away. Just want to make sure these are roughly on the same sort of. Yeah, so obviously, when you want them to line up here, you try and line them up as well when you go to crimp them. Yep, so that one's pretty well nicely aligned with the other ones. So they all look nice and nice and uniform. So you can see there if we take that one off, and that one's done now. And it's nice and uniform. Now for instance, if you um if this particular fitting once you've crimped it is not facing the right way, you can grab that hose and you can physically rotate that fitting within the hose. It'll be able to do that for a while until it goes through a couple of heat cycles. But otherwise, that's sealed now, and that's never going to leak on you. All right, thank you.